Greetings and salutations everyone, Featherhoof here with another game side chat and Stardew Valley where we are now in summer and I immediately found out after I went to bed in the last episode and I stopped recording, I screwed up the watermelons. I screwed them up. I was supposed to plant seeds in a 3x3 pattern, not plant them with space of a 3x3 pattern. So, I instantly screwed that up, and I hope that's something I can fix. I hope I can go buy those seeds. Again, another beautiful sunny day. It's always a sunny day. I'll be kind of lucky today. Maybe I will find some seeds. Who knows? Oh, boy. Let's start with... Let's just... Well, that's not even... It's not 90... I wonder if I can even... I hope I can salvage this this mess I made for myself. God, I just... I, I, it's what happens when you misunderstand things, I guess. <laughs> so I guess, before we get started, let's go ahead and... God, what do we do in summer? Like, the leaks don't show up to the south anymore. There has to be something I can forage. I need my foraging to level up, damn it. I know the other way to level up foraging is to cut down trees, but... Oh! Uh, the museum. I think the museum might be open. Uh, let's go to the museum through the, su through the southern part, through this person's farm. Is that, again, I want to see if there's anything to, f to forage. Wait, are these foraging things? These, these things here? Are, are you forages? No, you're not the things I can forage. Sort of slid down in my chair as if I was playing a game on my own. Yeah, for YouTube, I was just sort of getting into, you know, relaxed mode there. I'm not seeing nothing. Yep, so much for foraging in the south. I'm not going to be making my, any money that way d during this season. But there's obviously stuff to forage because it's for the community center. Just gotta find them all. That's that's where the the bitch of it comes in. He's gotta find the damn things. I'm still loving summer music. This is some nice music. All right, let's see if we can uh, get to the blacksmith. Actually, it's about just about turn nine o'clock. Let's go see if we can buy some melon seeds as we're right here. Nine o'clock. Hi. How you doing? I can! Okay. I'm gonna buy... That many. Did, did you just buy 32 melon seeds? I did. Deal with it. I don't care what you think of me. This is my farm, damn it. <laughs> but you ask for our advice? Yes, I do. And I appreciate it. Excuse me, lady. I'm busy. Okay, let's, uh... Blacksmith sounds open. He's got things going on. Actually, can I open that? No, I cannot. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Process some more geodes. I have a little bit more space. <laughs> Yay! Rocks. What are you? A, a helmet. Ooh. Malachite, copper, and poop. Oh, I mean mudstone. Mudstone. Ew, fire quartz. Kyanite and, um, and clay. Okay. Let's go ahead and take, take as much of this to the uh, museum as I can. I'm going to sell the rest. I'm going to get rid of it. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm here to donate to the museum. Museum can have fire quartz. You can have this. You have the malachite. I forget what the name of that was. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I want to keep... I'm keeping my... My helmet. Can I... Can I wear that? Oh, I can't wear it. Aw, I have to donate it. Boo! I wanted to wear a dwarfish helm, damn it. 
Uh, you go over there, because I said so. And give me my rewards. Give me star fruit. Ooh, that was something else that I. Oh, I read about that too. God, but I can't remember what I read. Damn it, I can't remember what I read. Okay, let's go. Let's go fix my blender with the melons. That's that's my first priority. Cause I wanted to make the giant melons. I wanted to have giant melons. I wanted to have giant melons. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any because I've already screwed up and you know in four little spots. I could just start over. I could just destroy those and start over. I know it's only a chance. It's not a, you know guaranteed, but it's, it's a chance. While I'm while I'm working on this, yeah, I'm going to destroy them. Fuck it. Shut up, cat! No one asked your opinion. Oops. Okay, where are my melons? He's there they are. Go away, go away. Let's see. Go away. Alright. Now. Oh, I only have one star fruit seed. Okay. I'm gonna plant these out. Nice four three by three pat grid pattern. And luckily, I now have that copper, uh, the copper um, watering can. So that's going to make this a little easier. Again, thank you comments for uh, filling me in on its abilities. Oh, now you're taking your advice? Yes, I'm sorry. Sheesh. <laughs> you guys are so so sensitive. It's almost as if he's just like he's chucking the water, doesn't it? But anyway, um, the story I want to tell today, sticking with the um, the theme of jobs, jobs I've had, I want to talk about the second job, real job I ever had. And let me tell you, it was not a good one. It was. And it, it, but I think it's something we've all had. We've all kind of had this kind of job. Retail. I worked in retail. And... Boy... People in this world suck. They just do. Okay, um... Go put you away. Yeah. Yes, okay. If if I had like in the last episode I talked about my problems with um people when I was a um whatchamacallit? A um paper boy. Now if you thought those problems were bad, which I don't know if you did or not, but they were bad, damn it. Oh wait, mushrooms. A mushroom cave, did they give anything yet? It did! Common, common, common. Chantanelle, a red mushroom. And a common mushroom. Okay. What do these do? I can use them for energy. I also use them to sell, I'm sure. Wait, red mushroom. That was for, um... Where is it? There! Oh, okay. The red and the chantanelle are for the life elixir. See, purple and a moral. More looks like a kind of mushroom, I think. Okay. So I'm going to keep those, and the commas I'm going to use to feed myself. Got it. So I am going back up to the mines. You. Go away. I know I should have should have waited, I should have let it grow to maturity, and I would have gotten foraging points, but I wanted to die. Oh, fuck me. No, I can't. I cannot go mining with all this stuff. I need to fill- I need to empty some space. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go and bring back my other box that I have from down here fishing, too. 
But while I'm doing that, let's let, again let's talk about let's talk about working retail. I was a casual. Well, let's see. First, I started a stock. I was stock, and it wasn't bad, but I was, as they put it, slow. I was not up to speed that other people had, because I'm a bit of a, I'm a perfectionist. I wanted the 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 shelves and everything to look aesthetically pleasing. I want everything to be in these exact spots. And I could not do it in a timely manner, apparently. They wanted me to do it in these, this like crazy top speeds that I was just not going to be able to do. And thank you. So after a while, and well, actually it was kind of nice. This was Super Kmart. This is, this is where I worked with Super Kmart. Instead of firing me for, you know, not being the kind of worker they wanted, you know, someone who was super fast, someone who was too picky, <laughs> or rather someone who wasn't as picky as me. Um, they actually moved me around in the company. They gave me a choice, and I chose cashier. Don't choose cashier. Choose maintenance. Choose choose cleanup duty. You know, just don't, 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 don't choose ma cashier. You will regret it every day that you are there. Every day, the day, and then some. Because. Punish it. Okay, I have two boxes that can take care of stuff. Actually, let's go ahead. Let's do a little maintenance. I'm gonna take. Oh yeah, I have a scythe that I could be leveling up. Making yeah, a copper scythe. Do I need to do that for the scythe? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know if I need to level up the scythe at all. Like turn it into like a like I said a le a copper scythe, or even can I do that? Okay. Uh, now I'm going to put my hoe away as well. I don't need that in the mines. But, my god, dudes. If you want to see the most entitled assholes the world has to offer, become a cashier. Because then... Then will you see. Oh wait, I said I was going to make like one of every plant, didn't I? I'm making myself a liar already. Must be deposited at the community center. Oh, fine. I'll just hold on to it for now. Nah, it's too late. I'll start it tomorrow. I'll, st I'll start, uh, you know, crops of all the different things for summer tomorrow. But then... People treat you like absolute garbage when you're a cashier. They treat you like filth. People, people out there, when you're a cashier, do not care. Ow, ow, what are you? Ow, ow, go away! What is... They're the little cold creatures from... From spirited away! I don't want to kill these! They're cute, they're little so the soots! Yeah, peep, when, when you are a cashier, man, you are a sub-fucking-human, dude. People don't care about you, you are there to do their bidding, and if you damn- if you dare to disagree with them on anything, you know, if they tell you, No, it's supposed to be this price, it's not supposed to be that price, even if they're wrong, they, oh, oh, don't you dare disagree with them. They will make your life hell. Boy, yay, I'm poisoned. What's all this? Oh, no, not axe. I thought I was on the pickaxe. Okay, I'm not seeing any iron. I'm supposed to be lucky today. I'm not seeing any iron. <sighs> Man, like some some of the things that happened to me when I was when I was a cashier, man. 
I don't wish on anybody. And the people... The people who act that way... Man, when you go to the grocery store and you... Act the way that people act... In front of me, around me... It's just like, you should not be allowed to be that way. It's just so asinine, dudes. I'm not even kidding. Okay, like, for instance, okay. This lady, alright? I don't know her name, so I have no problem saying, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, not, I'm gonna keep, keep things anonymous, because I, I don't care what their names were. It was bitchy McChunder shorts, for all I care. This woman, she comes through my, through my lane. Excuse me, I'm Cassie. And she is determined to tell me that this this item she has is supposed to be like three dollars cheaper than what it rang up as. Okay. Now it's not that the computers are right all the time. They they can be wrong from time to time. It happens. But she was not hearing it, man. She was hell bent on trying to tell me that I was completely wrong and I was being disrespectful for telling her that she was wrong. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I'm about to die. Shit. Oh, uh, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. I need health bad. There we go. Oh, bat. Fuck you. I know it's 1020. I'm... I have no daylight left. I need to get... Either to the next... To the next fifth floor, or back up that ladder now. God damn it. There's too many enemies. So, she demands to see a manager saying how disrespectful I was. And I wasn't. I was like, I was like, man, okay, okay, full story, because I don't want to leave anything out. I called back, okay? I called back, I was like, um, you know, what was it, you know, when somebody in groceries, you know, frozen food, please call extension, blah, 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 you know, the, for the phone for my dwarf scroll. What is this? Yeah, please call, call call my register because you know I uh, for a price check. They take forever to get back to me, but they get back to me. So she they you know I tell her hey they have this product, is it this price? They say no, not even close. It is, and they say the price that's on on the screen. So what should I say? Which I tell her that I say, ma'am. It is this price. And she... Oh, loses it. Okay? She is losing it right there in my aisle. I'm like, man, there's nothing I can do. I... You know, yes, I can manually change prices. I'm not telling her that. But she is not having it, okay? Eventually, my supervisor... She says... I will go back there right now, and I will show you that it's blah 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 price. And I was like, "Ma'am, I can't leave my register." She, my my supervisor, she she looks at me. She goes, "Go ahead." I'm like, are you, are you sure? So yeah, go ahead. Let her let her show you. It's like, well, okay. I, I thought my my my, you know, my supervisor was being a dick or a bitch because I'm like, are you siding with her? Really? Is that what's going on right now? So I go down. We go all the way back. I mean, all the way back. Like, Frozen Foods is in the far back section. So we go back there. And when we get back there, I find the product. She said, look, right here. It says right there, blah, 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 price. I went, yes, it says blah, 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 price for X item. This is not the item you have. Well, I picked it up right here. This is where it was. There's no other of that product there. Like, the, the product she has is, like, four products to the right of what she picked up. And then she demanded, she still demanded that it should be that price, because that's where it was. Like, are you kidding me? Fuck off, lady. 
It was... Uh, uh. What the fuck was that? Cool! That's awesome, but what the hell was that noise I just heard? Did a, a spaceship go overhead? I have no idea what just happened. There was a... Oh! There was an earthquake during that. That could explain it then. Sunny day, as always. Omelet again. Okay, fine. Be that way. Be that way, omelet. This is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. You find them, bring them back to me discreetly. Hey, I'll pay you well. Thanks. Sure, I guess? I just don't know where the hell I'm going to find purple shorts at. That's far from the only instance of, of dickatry at being a cashier, man. Why are you facing up? So, there's this pro uh, this thing that the govern the government does, okay? For for families that don't have a lot of money, those that are having problems, you know, providing for their children, they have a program. I, I forget what the program's called, but in which they give these parents a voucher, okay? It's a government voucher. And it's good for, say, just throwing a number out there. I believe it was like $200 worth of kids' clothes and supplies for school. Okay? I It's not allowed to be used for anything else. I always have like a, a list of things that are and aren't allowed. And it, it's a big hullabaloo. Well, years passed. In years passed... I, they, um, they were a little, little more lenient, but people started to abuse the system, okay? People began to abuse it, and what they did to try and curtail that is, at one point they said, okay, no, you are not allowed, under any, any circumstance, to go over the amount that's, all, that's listed on the paper. For any reason, shape, form, nothing. You cannot go over. You cannot go over and pay the difference. Period. It had, you know, the the receipts that it's stapled to this this sheet of paper. The total price must be equal to or less than, again, two hundred dollars. When that year happened, when that year happened, I had customers losing their mind. Again, these are people who are giving been giving handouts because they can't afford to, you know, to, you know to freaking give their kids, uh, you know, the, the necessities, and they're oh cool, I think it's a painting, and they're ready to jump down my throat for something I can't help. It's federal. It, it's it's beyond my control. So this happens. Okay, this this one guy. Like I said, there's so many people out there that flipped out. Not everyone did, but there were people who did, and it's always the certain ones that stick out in your mind. Especially this one. He he came in. He's got his wife. He's got his kids. His kids are here. Okay, his little kids are standing here in front of me. Or not in front of me, but another cashier, okay? The supervisor comes up to me. I'm just a cashier, I'm not a supervisor, mind you. But, little secret, a lot of the times when you say, I need to see a manager, you're not actually getting a manager. But, close on, close on Wednesdays, what? Okay, um, so, my manager comes up to me and says, hey, um, such and such, we'll call her, we'll call this, Jan has, is not back from, uh, break, and I really need to use the restroom. You know all the commands, you know, because I've been there for many, many years. So you know everything that needs, you know, you need to do up here. 
can you, you know, just, just do this thing for me? You know, just pretend to be supervisor so that I can use the restroom. You know, Jan should be back any minute now. Like, yeah, I can do that. Not a problem. Okay, so, dude comes up to this lady's line. He, I mean, I don't know what's going on, obviously, because it's too far away for me to really hear. But when a, um, when somebody needs help, they flash their light. And when their light flashes, I walk over as, as manager to go see the problem and to fix it. Summer seats. Ooh, there we go. I can plant that. I wouldn't have to 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 buy anything. So her light flashes. I go over to say hi. You know my name's my name is Featherhoof. I'm here. I am I am your server today. Uh, how can I help you? So I go over there. He turns to me. Like. Like a fox has just you know sought you know scented its prey. Okay. Blacksmith's bundle. Okay, I can I can make that, yeah. Oh now fuck me! I should have sold that stuff. I didn't know I was gonna need it for this. Oh Okay, so there's a lot of things I shouldn't be selling. I need to keep to bring here. Got it. Got it. Well anyway, he like he's just it's like he's talking to her and <clears throat> right at me, pissed, out of his mind, vein throbbing in his forehead, okay? Your, your cashier is telling me that I can't, you know, uh, buy all this stuff on the voucher and then pay the difference. What the fuck, you know, swearing up and down. I'm like, sir, it's right there on your voucher. We, we cannot, it's by federal law, it's something we cannot do. So it's never been like that before. I know it's not been like that before, sir. A lot of people are upset by it, but it's nothing, it's out of our hands. What you have to do is your total must meet, must be less than, or yeah, equal to or less than the total amount. And that's, wait, where am I going? I was supposed to go back and plant these seeds. Like, I'm an idiot. I might not plant all 30 of them, but I'm gonna plant mm, 15, like I did with my, you know, like my old parsnip farm. So he's raging. He's raging, dudes. I mean, so he finally, he's like, you know, I, I, you know, I want, I want to see you as your supervisor. I want to see, or wait, I was playing supervisor. Then I want to see your manager. I want to see your manager because I was playing supervisor. So, okay. And like I said, when you ask for a manager, chances are you're not actually getting a manager. So I go up to customer service and I say, I turn to girl there. Let's call her Lisa. Lisa. I need, uh, you willing to play manager? Yeah, I'll, I'll play manager. Got it. Okay, come on. I, I need, I need manager. So we go over. Why am I here? Oh, my ho, my ho. Okay. So she comes over. She plays manager. All right. She tells them the exact same thing. She, be or rather, she begins to. Okay. He stops her mid-sentence. Okay. Stops her mid sentence. You know, like this. Wait, wait. Turns to me. Because we don't need you anymore. Just like that. We don't need you anymore. So I'm like, if my hands had not been in my pockets at the time, he would have seen me flipping him off. Because he I mean the the absolute attitude. And he's sitting there, now he's yelling at, you know, poor Lisa. And I'm just, I feel so bad for Lisa right now. You go right there. And he's, and finally, I can see him getting madder and madder because obviously, just by looking over there, I can see, oh look, she's telling them the, oh, that's not my help. She's telling him the exact same story I told him, and he's not happy about it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. No, I don't want to 
to bounce right up against that. I skip down one. There. Because now I have an empty plot for no reason, but I don't care. It'll get filled in over time. So, he, like I said, he's losing his mind, and I'm just sitting there, just in my mind, laughing. Because this asshole, this supreme asshole, it's like, seriously, why? What, you know, compelled you to decide to treat people like this? I mean, what, what, what is it that you're getting out of this? Because, there's again, there's nothing we can do about it. It's federal. There's, there's nothing we can do. So, it's... Like I said, these are far from the only instances. You know, I've actually had people freaking, you know, yell at me because... Like, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. I actually had a lady call me. I worked... Uh, after cashier, I worked at customer service for a long time. I had a lady call me and yell at me for minutes on end because nobody told her that the, um, the electric pencil sharpener she bought didn't come with batteries. Even though it clearly says it on the box! And it's... People are... In so many ways. Absolute wastes of skin. So many people are. And it drives me up the wall. You know, they said there was an earthquake. What did that do? What did the earth like random earthquake do? Oh. Yay. Yay. Of course I was hoping for a wider array of mushrooms, because I want to make that life elixir. But it is what it is. I mean I now have more common mushrooms to eat. For when I go back down in the mines, which is where I'm gonna head next. I'm gonna go back to the mines for the rest of the day. Even if I don't make it all the way through. You know, as far as deep as I'd like, I'm at least going to have, you know, get some some things to trade for money and some iron. Because I definitely need iron. I need more charcoal so I can make iron bars. And then I can start go back to fishing and, you know, get more fish. So I can sell them so I can make money to upgrade to at least the iron axe. I definitely need the iron axe. Oh, what's this screaming at me for? I'm gonna have to find. Where am I? I still haven't found his pants. Does anyone know where his pants are? If I can get that in the comments below, tell me where Mayor Lewis's pants are. Yeah, I only have a. I have a very li limited time left. Okay, no, no soot creatures this time. Odd. Yeah, like, I think, like, the best thing I I, I I ever did, and it was on my final day there, and I'll never forget it, because it, it was a day, it was also the, it was the same day, the anniversary of Cindy and me becoming a couple. That's, that's how, how I remember it, because we had forgotten about that day. It was our, you know, an, it, was our, one, it was one of our anniversaries, and we both totally forgot the day. So it's not just me. I, 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 it isn't like, oh, Featherhoof, you forgot it. No, 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 she forgot it too. Otherwise, I would have taken that day off. But it was my, also my, my final day. So I was working customer service at the time, and um, I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I, I, I'm gonna learn the winter route. What is that? I'm going to learn the uh, the phone greeting entirely in Spanish. The whole thing in Spanish. So I did. I went out of my way and I learned the, the whole fucking thing in Spanish. I don't know it now because it's been, God, so many years. But um, I did. I, 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 I promise you I did learn it. And so... <laughs> At least, you know, it was like, I waited for my final hour, the, the, the last hour before I, you know, my, my, my job there was done. 
And someone called. I'm like, yay, someone called. And I pick it up and I answer it. And I get the whole spiel in Spanish. The whole thing. Now, they, they, they listen to it. They listen to the whole thing. And when I reach the end, they hang up. They hang up their phone. I'm laughing my tits off. And suddenly, the phone rings right away. Just rings again. And they cut, you know, and I can, I go through the whole spiel. I go through the whole spiel. I get it entirely in Spanish. Phone hangs up instantly. The moment, the moment I finish. Now, not even, not even a minute passes and the phone rings again. I go into English. I go back into English. I'm like, okay. I go to English. And they, you know, and they're like, oh, okay, this is Super Kmart? I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is Super Kmart. And they're like, oh, thank goodness. I, I think I got the wrong number like a couple of times because I kept getting this Spanish hotline. <laughs> and I'm trying my best to compose myself. I'm like, oh, man, that, this is weird. I, I don't know any Spanish, you know, Spanish places around here. You know? I, I'm trying to play it as straight as possible. So I get into my head that I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go. I'm going to be like, okay. That works out so well. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna totally gonna do it again. So I'll do it again. And this time they speak Spanish. And I'm like, fuck. What do I do? I scream, heal me. Nom. Wow, I think that's a lot of healing. So. I'm I'm now officially screwed. They like they asked me in Spanish, you know, is, is this? Again, I, I, I can't remember the Spanish words for it, but they like, is this Super Kmart? And like, uh, and then I instantly, I'm like, uh, yes, yes, this is Super Kmart. Uh, how can I help you? And they're like, wait, where was the Spanish gentleman we were just talking to? I was like, I'm sorry, he handed the phone off to me. He had an emergency. <laughs> he had to he had to take off. Uh, how can I help you? Yeah, I I was smooth, guys. I was smooth. So <laughs> I decided after after that I was like, okay, that's probably not something I should repeat. So like, yeah, at least that, that was like my one little prank I got to have right right at the end before I before I had to call it before I was quit before I quit. And I don't know, it felt good. It really did feel good. But man, like I said, man, it, retail sucks. If if you can avoid it, avoid it. Just just avoid it. Like the plague. Yay! Rocks. I was rocking it. Leave them on. It's it's midnight. I'm not gonna make it to the floor forty-five. Just not not gonna, or 50, sorry. I mean, if you can avoid it, avoid it. I mean, at least it's better than like fast food, but man, so many people that it's just, like I said, there's just so many people who are absolute ignorant assholes. And I don't, like, I wonder sometimes if they realize that they are. Oh God. I've been staying up really late these past couple of days. I know, I know. I, I had this bright idea of stopping at the community center. Okay, can I do it from here? Or do I have to like go to the uh frozen tier? Can I like a quartz? It has to be deposited at the very thing, and I don't have time. Damn it. All right, I gotta remember to... Okay, I guess I can't put stuff in the the bin to be recycled and turned into money. Shit, because I, I... Shut up, night bird. It's like... Retail, like I said. It got me through college, okay? Let's put it that way. Like, If I did not have that retail job, I would not have been able to get through college, I wouldn't be able to afford my books, I wouldn't have, you know, so much I wouldn't have been able to do. 
But having to deal with those people, those people were so ignorant, such assholes. And I don't understand why people are like that. They treat cashiers, waiters, you know, any anyone, any kind of serv you know, server or anything like that was just like you are beneath me and I rule you. It's like, dude, come on. The waiter and the server doesn't want to be there. They're just there because they need the money for whatever reason. Like I said, I needed it for college. It was just... Well, I mean, I got the job in high school, but I kept it through all throughout college. Actually, I, did, I think I kept it all the way up until I got married. And... Just, it, it never got better. It never got better. Now, you, you get the good customers once in a while, but... Man, it, 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 if you want to lose your faith in humanity, be a cashier. Be a cashier for a month and you will hate your fellow man. I guarantee you. Like, 100%. I will pay you if you haven't lost you. If you currently have faith in humanity and you work as a cashier for a month and you haven't lost your faith in humanity, I'll give you money. I'm dead serious. Uh, so... Guys, that's, that's what I want to talk about today. That was my story. Uh, Uma's working on his Featherhoof farm. It's it's not coming along as great as I'd like. I mean, uh, it is what it is. I'm st again, this is my first ever attempt, not only at this game, but any game like this. So I'm figuring it out, figuring it out as I go. I'm sure like, if I were to go back and start like a brand new game tomorrow, I'd probably get like through a lot of this a lot faster. I'd I'd know more, you know. I, it would come to me like, oh, it's more efficient if I did this, that, or the other. And I'd be further like if I got back to Thursday the fourth, I'd be further along than I am at this Thursday the fourth. But it is what it is. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, share it or you can click on the annotations for other videos I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.